Hi, my name is Riley Coy. I work for Oklahoma Forestry Services. I'd like to talk to you today about some of your community trees. We've got lots of different species of trees that make up any community within the forest. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the ash trees. There's green ash, there's white ash. Far eastern Oklahoma, we've got blue ash. Uh, there's a little bit of a problem happening throughout the country with our ash trees, and that's called emerald ash borer. Emerald ash borer is a little green bug, a little beetle, uh, kind of pretty actually, but it has the capacity to do a lot of damage, both ecologic and economic damage in our communities. So the emerald ash borer started up in the Michigan area and they think that it maybe came over in pallet wood, something to that effect. They're not really sure exactly how it got here, but they know that it got here and they weren't ready for it. Whenever it started hitting the communities up in that part of the country, it caused substantial damage. Millions if not billions of dollars in cleanup was required to help fix this problem. So many communities throughout the eastern part of the country especially uh, have lined their streets with ash trees historically. In the 40s and 50s, they planted a whole lot of ash. They make this great canopy cover over the streets, gives you that tunnel effect. Uh, kind of like we did here in Oklahoma with American Elm many years ago. And as we, some of us may remember, American Elm got hit really hard by the Dutch Elm disease, and we had to start diversifying our species and planting different trees to create that tunnel effect over roads. Well, like we did with American Elm, they did that in the eastern part of the country with ash trees. Once this emerald ash borer hit those communities, uh, those ash trees started declining and dying rapidly. So it's in a tree canopy assessment done in the Tulsa area a few years ago, they discovered about 217 million ash trees in that area. In Tulsa, if the emerald ash borer were to hit and kill all of those trees, they'd be looking at about a $94 million loss in structural value of their urban canopy. To put that into perspective, Oklahoma City has a canopy cover of ash trees that equals about 0.05% of our total canopy cover. So a little bit less than Tulsa, still enough to cause some economic damage and ecologic damage if emerald ash borer gets here and kills all of our ash trees. There are some preventative measures. If you've got a particularly important ash tree that you really want to protect, uh, you can call a certified arborist. They'll come out and they'll treat your tree for preventative measures. So if you have that really important tree to you that has a lot of sentimental value, uh, there are treatments that you can do that will prevent it from getting the emerald ash borer. Treatments are costly and they're not permanent, so you'll have to continue to do those uh, every few years. So we're trying to avoid that in Oklahoma. The beetle is not quite here yet. It's just a matter of time. Um, we have found one beetle in 2016 over in the Grove area in northeastern Oklahoma. We continually monitor. We put out traps every year. We've got traps all over the eastern third of the state all the way over into the Oklahoma City area. And those traps are checked by volunteers and by wildlife management areas, by communities, community foresters. Uh, they all monitor those traps and we uh, keep up with that and we report what we find. Because we do continually monitor for these, we're gonna let you know as soon as it hits, as soon as it starts coming, whenever there's a problem. So there's no need to run out and spend a lot of money treating your tree right now. Just watch the news, check our website, Oklahoma Forestry Services website, and monitor it for yourself because we will put that information out there whenever it does occur. If you have a, a substantial number of ash trees on your property, and you may not have the resources to treat all of those trees, start thinking about the future. Start maybe planting different species of trees to replace those ash trees when they are gone. Uh, there are different elm species. There are a lot of different uh, smaller trees like Chinese pistache. Um, if you're in a wetter area, which is typically where ash trees grow naturally, you know, you could do sycamore, uh, cottonwood, if you like cottonwood. Uh, there are a lot of different species to replace ash trees with that serve the same functions. Um, if you have any questions about that, you can always call Oklahoma Forestry Services, you can call your local arborist, uh, you can call your community forester if your community has a forester. If you do want to treat your ash trees or replace the trees that you have with different species for the future, there are a lot of people that are eager to help you do that.
We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.